Last time on Vampire. I am a vampire, and you are bound to me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? This time on Vampire. Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So I was just dicking around off camera because I wanted to figure out the puzzle and I literally resorted to just running around the room hitting the E button, hoping that it was going to work. And it did! Uh, up here. I found something. <laughs> Stupid me a little bit, but it is what it is and nothing I can do about it now. Uh, I don't know if there was like some something telling me that that was like what I needed to do and I'm just dumb and I missed it But it is what it is and there's nothing I can do about it now They're dead and we're moving on with our lives So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on with our lives and drain these Malkavian nutters and Continue on with our lives. I I'm I'm excited that we get to continue. Let's just put it that way uh, I was definitely a little worried that I was gonna have to Google um, and figure out the puzzle, but just run around and press the interact button, friends. It works. It works every time. Anyway, continuing on. That stair looks a little off, but I wouldn't put it past the game to hide something under it. Uh, we still need to find this Malkavian old psychiatrist dude. That's like the worst combination in the world, by the way. A psychiatrist who became a Malkavian. Like, how fucked is that guy? Just his, He's just so boned. It's hilarious. All right, so we unlocked a new shortcut. That's good. I'm, I'm actually happy they're giving us shortcuts kind of along the way. Uh, but yeah, that guy is just like fucked. Malkavians in general are fucked, but that guy in particular having to have, uh, having to live that life is unfortunate. Uh, chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception thereof. Time is the key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. I know that's like a hint to a puzzle, but it's so fucking cryptic. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old, or poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. So, for, you know, Malkavian, he seems rather, um, sane, I guess? All right. The dat did nothing. Okay. Oh no, we gotta set the lights up. Oh, right, it's one of those light one, light all. Uh, I did it. I somehow did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Yay, magic. It's down there. Okay. No problem. No problem, we got we got this. Just fly down, and in we go. Hello, is there anybody here? My name is Mathis, I'm a Ventru. Uh, I'm here to chat with you and make your friends commit a suicide. This is unfortunate. I don't know what I did. Um, okay, let's save it real quick, shall we? Uh, I think I need to go and grab that key that's like off to the side. So let's do this. What is this? This has got to be a key, right? Tarulfang. 
Frenzy check modifier plus one. I guess that's useful. Is there any more, like, am I just hitting all the switches? I assume I'm just trying to hit every switch. Let's just move. We don't need to sneak. Turn everything off. Did I do it? Oh, okay. I'm supposed to, like, sneak in there. Uh. There we go. Mathis is the goddamn genius. And you can't argue with that logic. We did it. We did it, fam. We did it. Is that gonna, like... All right, well, unlocked Grout's inner sanctum. Perfect, I'm sure there's nothing wrong in his inner sanctum at all. I'm sure everything is gonna be fine. Inner sanctum in this way? No, it's... Hello? I'm looking for the inner sanctum. Inner sanctum, anyone? I'll find Grout eventually. Gonna find Grout's inner sanctum. Gonna come say hello. This one, I think? This was locked before. No. That's... I came in from here. That's him. It's gotta be this way. My sense of direction is going to cause many arguments in the in the chat, uh, in the comment section, I'm sure. As it tends to. We did it! Yay! We did it! I'm clapping, but yay! Okay. As always, save. This game is, it requires you to save a lot. Hello, I hear crying, which scares me. Yeah, you're gonna die, my man. Just, yeah, just choke yourself to death. No concern. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of Velus or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Interesting. So he's clearly... All right, so the Malkavian stuff is clearly kind of getting to him now. Also, I did just notice that we got... Okay, we got to move this shit. Uh, we got some Elder Vitae, which excites me because in Vampire Lore, if you drink an Elder's blood, I think you get more powerful? We're gonna take a look at it here. Um, blue Elder Vita. In fact, extremely potent blood. The hows and where of its origins are probably best left unexplored. I can't help, I gotta drink it. Let's save it and see if anything happens. I gotta drink it, I gotta try. If I wonder if it'll just be, like it won't do shit. It didn't do shit. Okay, let's just reload then. I don't want to waste it. If it doesn't do anything, I don't want to waste it. So, for now, no big deal. But anyway, it's good to know that he actually is starting to have the effects of Malkavian. What's up, girl? No. Shh, 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 shh. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Down you go. Down back to suicide. We've got one here. One over here, and then another in the corner that I can probably just drink. Again, this is my favorite part about being a Ventru. I don't have to deal with any of this shit. I can just make them kill themselves. And we'll just down the rest of her, and that'll help me out a great deal. Top me off. There's something, like, just fun about draining somebody. Like, that aspect of the game has yet to not be fun. Just draining them to their death. 
I know that's kind of sad, but, you know, hey, I'm a vampire, whatever. And they give themselves away so easily. They laugh and giggle. So I know that they're coming from, like, a mile away. You're just gonna commit suicide. Hey, stop right there. Excuse me? You can talk? And now you're dead. Don't worry about it. Hey, it's like, see, they sounded so normal. Hey, stop right there. And then I just make them commit suicide. Whatever. Okay, there's a door here. All right, let's see what this is for a lock picking skill. We could blood buff our way into it if it's like only a five, and it is, so we can definitely just pop in. Hello? The more, um, excuse me? I actually can't click on it. Like, the game just glitches. That's really strange. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. I wish I knew what this said. I don't get to know, though. Sorry. The game does not wish me to understand. Oh, here we go. God damn it. Can you please just open the goddamn door? No, open the door. Ha! Snuck out. That's right. Hello? Yeah, I feel like if I just say you know, hello before going into any room, they're, they have to say, they have to say if they're there. So far it's worked out nicely. What? Don't worry about who's there, girl. That is very flashy lady. It's actually driving me nuts. I blood buffed. I didn't mean to. No, no one's there. She just does not give a flying fuck. Don't worry about it. Sister. Mmm, thank you. Deliciousness. You taste so nice. Daddy loves it. Alright, who else do we need to kill? Well, we can kind of just go. We can kill at a distance. You look like you need to die. I don't know what you were doing in here. It's kind of gross. It looks like it's kind of gross. She's actually still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. She's kind of twitching on the ground. There's nothing I can do. And I don't know if it's part of, if it's a glitch or if it's part of the game. It's fine either way. Down it goes. We should be just about to... Ah, perfect. It perfectly topped us off. Hello? Oh, body. Yeah. Nice. Shh, shh, shh. Nobody's there, sir. Nobody's there. What was that? Did you say freeze? Because I said choke yourself, and you seem to be listening to me more than I'm listening to you. There's a secret wall there. At least what seems to be a secret wall. This looks like a wall. It look uh, like a wall. If I was a Nosferatu, I could eat these rats. Yeah, like, I don't even have to fight these assholes. Just kill yourself is basically what it boils down to. Can we not? I don't understand what's happening here. And now I'm actually stuck, I think. Okay. I can't, like, the game, oh my god, collision is just so bad. Am I stuck? Am I, like, actually 100% stuck here? Okay, I think we're good. Because it looks like I should go, maybe I want to go up there? I'm just, I'm nervous to do anything. Hello? There's gotta be like a secret button here or something. Oh, I can just, really? I can just interact with it and it's fine? That's annoying. That's dumb. So he can just kind of walk down these halls and observe. Which is decidedly both Malkavian and creepy as fuck. And those flashing lights are giving me a headache. Okay. I can't see anything. But if there's anybody down here, are you a police officer? You have to tell me. What? Did this? I'm very confused. 
No. We have come full circle. Okay. Secret doors don't matter. I did hear people talking. I hate Malkavians. <laughs> They're obnoxious. So it's like a shortcut, clearly. So you can walk over. I don't see a secret door. Nor do I see like buttons or something. Though maybe I'm missing it. I'm kind of just pressing E, hoping I'm gonna come across who I, like what I need to. The music in this freaking place is awesome, though. They did such a good job with atmosphere in this game. They really, really did. No, because I came in here. Okay, there's got to be something in here. See, like, yeah, I hear someone saying, hey, who's there? Hello? Could you show me how to get up there? Hey, hey, stop right there. Hey, what's up? I'm here. I would like to make you kill yourself. If, oh, what the fuck? Wait, no. That's just a goddamn pole. Okay. Maybe. I mean, I hear footsteps, but. I think it's just a song. Maybe it's like this way? Maybe it's like a, oh, it's a fucking platforming puzzle. If you're up here, I'm gonna make you kill yourself. I'm just giving you fair warning. Like, I gave you a warning, sir. The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. All right, Malkavian, got it. <laughs> you got your Malkavian problems. I'm sorry to hear it, and yet at the same time, boy, do I wish I was a Malkavian right now. Hello. I am Malkavian. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Everybody's talking about the end of the goddamn world. Is that what's gonna happen in this game? The end of the world happens? That's your wife. It's a brain. It's a teddy bear. I don't know what that is, blood maybe? It's a rose, a picture of the two of you, a watch, and music. Why did I decide this was a good idea? 
Oh, yeah! Big band, baby! Is she like a fucking music box? Uh-oh. Hey, girl. Thanks for unlocking the door. That's creepy. Okay. Sounds good. I don't want to know what's going to happen. Oh, he was staked! Nines, you motherfucker! You staked him! They staked him, they chained him down. And then they... Oh, Jesus. Saw the remains of Alistair Grout. Oh, they staked him? They chained him down? What? How did they force... Did they force sunlight? Uh, Grout's dead, and who the hell are you? Grout is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. All right, let me guess this guy is like um, like a witch hunter or something. I forget what they're called. Um, who the hell are you? As you burn, tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I want to know what happened. Who killed him? Fuck! <laughs> Was it LaCroix who killed him? Or was it uh, Nines who killed him? And who was he talking about? Was he talking about Nines? Or, uh, I'm talking about the Malkavian guy. Was he talking about Nines Rodriguez or was he talking about LaCroix? I do wonder. I wanna know. I'm very curious. I don't feel like fighting any of you, but I will. I can't even, I can't even see anything. Can you not? Thank you. Jesus. Ah! Questions! Mystery! Drama! I must know. I don't- I really do not feel like fighting you. Um... That looks like not the right way. Okay. These guys are all on fire, and that's just like, annoying. But maybe that- oop, nope. Can't go that way now! Game is forcing me to go one particular way. Alright, let's just drink a regular blood pack. Have a little bit of a staying power for a little bit here. Don't want to fight you, but we might. That's fine. We'll keep moving. I, I won't maybe can make uh, them commit suicide anymore. It's kind of a waste of powers, I think. We'll be fine without having to. We can just kind of swing them with an axe. Don't worry, Hatchet is a venture's best friend. I don't know if you knew this. It's little known, little known tales. Okay. Uh, that was weird camera angles, I must admit. And I'm just gonna have to go out here. Woo! All right, we did it. Come on, hero, jump through while the explosion happens. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I I looked really silly for a minute, but that's okay. Get me the fuck out of dodge. Well, let's look around. Anything happen? They got rid of him. Nines got rid of him or something, man. What did Nines do? He was so worried. I don't know why. He, I, it's like the evidence is pointing to, towards Nines having staked and killed the bastard. Oh, let's take a look. You, uh, you should probably inform the prince about his demise. Well, let's do it, I guess. God damn it. And some fucking... Witch hunter. Hey, chunk. Good evening there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Uh, never mind that. I need to see LaCroix. Don't worry about the burger smells, man. Burnt meat is no good. LaCroix, I did it! Be happy with me. Approve! Love me! Daddy, love me! 
The Primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. <sighs> if the Primogen want to hear from Grout, tell them to hold a seance. Grout's dead. What? Uh, let's see. Who's Bach? He tried to burn me up and he really hates you. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, on the way in, I saw... N I don't know. Is it nines? If you'd let me finish. Let me finish? With whom do you presume you're speaking? Sorry, sorry. I was just going to add, I saw nines there. Look at me. Are you sure it was nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? <laughs> Why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? Mm-mm. Oh, God. Uh, why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? No, I just- I gotta behave. I'm a Ventru. I'm a Ventru. I have to behave. I'm positive it, would, it was nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs. Is that right? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want to war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. This also is very important, so I need to call upon your skill once more. The Ankaran sarcophagus was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I would like you to bring it back here for safekeeping. Hmm, gladly. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. All these tasks have left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Here, I can't have one of my representatives running around wearing a tire befitting a cut-rate funeral parlor. Invest it carefully. Thanks. Uh, let's see. So what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Uh... I can keep saying no need for keys? Why? Uh... I'm ready to go, but not through the front door. No keys. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Okay. I mean, why why can't I just take keys? Like, why, why I would take the keys and just talk my way in. I'm a goddamn Ventru. Come on, game. Let me do it. But I guess we're going to go to the museum now where also there's a side quest that we have to take care of. And we're going to see what the sarcophagi is all about. Hot damn.